Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about the SNOO. What is the SNOO, you ask? Well, as some of you may know, my wife and I recently had a baby. And the SNOO is supposed to be this sort of state-of-the-art bassinet that's supposed to be able to detect when your baby cries. It's supposed to kind of rock them back to sleep and just kind of make parenting a little bit easier. It's, it's, a, it's a lazy way to parent. So rather than you have to wake up in the middle of the night and hold and cradle your baby and, and lull them back to sleep, you can pretty much just let technology do its thing while you, while you get, grab a couple of extra hours of Z's. Anyway, what we wanted to find out today is if the SNOO is actually any good, if it's practical, or if it's just a $1,600 hot mess. Now this video is kind of comprised of a few parts. Basically we have the unboxing part of it, and then in the next chapter we'll have sort of setting it up, and then in the follow-up chapter from there we'll sort of do an assessment of the SNOO and then find out if it's actually worth the price tag that they are asking. Hint, if you don't want to fast forward to the end of the video, it's not. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the unboxing portion of the video, and here it is. All right, so this is an unboxing video of the SNOO. And here's a, like, you know, cool toy for when baby is older. But we have an accessory box right here. If my camera lady will zoom in on this here. Um, let's see, place over clip. Placed over clip. I don't know what that means. But we'll let's just go ahead and open up this thing. There's obviously some instructions and things. Open this up too. Some more instructions. They kind of look like IKEA instructions, except simpler. Got a medium sack, a large sack, and you can buy additional sacks at uh, Saks Fifth. I'm joking at Target. Um, and then here we've got the power cord, power cord, and then these are like the little leg stand things. All right, so now this is where all the meat of the action is. Basically, the snoo comes in what is a giant, uh, uh, like sack, which or pouch. This is actually kind of cool, pretty cool way to ship stuff, not plastic, which I hate. Uh, this is, you know, hopefully some kind of reusable organic material or whatever. But um, here's like kind of a cute, like baby already in the little, like sack in the uh, machine. Let's just take out the unit here. Nothing in the main underside of the box there. So take down the cover. And it is kind of confusing looking, but it actually, I'm pretty sure, is straightforward. So legs obviously just clip and screw into here. Um, power cord right through there. There is a power button right here at the top, along with a Wi-Fi button. And that seems to be pretty much it. There's some little service thing in here, which we'll open up later on. Uh, but ultimately, this looks like it's a pretty straightforward device. We are going to uh, put these legs on. They are color matched, so the blue... There's a blue arrow right here if you want to punch that in. Blue arrow, blue arrow. Do that. And then let's get these things screwed in. That way this thing doesn't eject baby out of the crib like Tom Cruise. So now the snoo is assembled and ready for powering on and all that jazz. Uh, my wife pointed out that the snoo sack that comes in the crib here is the small one. So that's nice, you get a small, medium, and a large. Um, and then there was also the fitted sheet underneath this. All right, so slide to remove from safety clips. So these things are connected to these little safety clips here. It's presumably where you pop the baby at some point or another. Is that's where these little little sack snaps go on. They just kind of slide in. And then underneath here is the fitted sheet slash mattress thing, uh, which is washable as well. Um, so that's kind of nice too. You can just very easily take this off, wash it. You should probably do that before you use it for the first time as well. Um, and that seems to be pretty much that. And then the rest of it, I guess, is, is uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to the, the uh, or, or, uh, powering it on and using it thing. Um, supposedly there's a Wi-Fi shield underneath 
the bed, so that way the little like Wi-Fi thing isn't blasting Wi-Fi radiation into your baby's head, which is kind of a nice touch. Um, but you know, we'll see in 30 or 40 years if uh, you know our daughter grows a second evil head, then we know um, that the Wi-Fi radiation thing didn't work. So anyway, yeah, that is uh, Snoo in a nutshell. Hey everyone, all right, so that was a long camera cut, but I am super excited to announce that my wife and I had our baby. So it is time to set up the snoop. So you gotta plug it in, obviously. The power goes underneath of it. So if you, by the way, I apologize for the ghetto presentation here, but I am just too tired to actually do it any, do it any other way. All right, so plugs into this red, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm sure I'm doing the right thing. Plugs into this red hole up here. There we go. You need to download the Snoo app on your phone. So I've already gone ahead and done, done that. So if you have an Android or an iPhone or whatever. Basically open the app, you get the thing set up. Snoo set up, get started. Boom. Ple uh, place your device underneath Snoo to scan the barcode on the label. So basically underneath of it, there is a barcode that is just doing the serial number. It's got it. Once your current location, so we will say allow using. So then it's picked up the network name. So now we type in the network password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then join Snooze Network. Join. So now it's going through this finishing setup thing. Basically, it's going to connect the Snooze Wi Fi. Unable to join Snooze. Why are you being persnickety? Um, so ultimately, it's supposed to join on the network for the Snooze and then. Um, and then join your network. So let's hit try again, join. Because I noticed the little Wi-Fi symbol up there changed. So hopefully it's doing its thing. <clears throat> changed again, so. So it's definitely taking longer than I would have assumed and or hoped. There we go. Boom. Did all that last stuff pretty quickly. So the whole check mark, mark, check mark box. Cannot speak. So clips not engaged. So that's pretty clever. So basically what it's, uh, I guess it has built in sensors to know when you've got the baby in the sack and then have her slipped into the little clips. Um, I'll do a walkthrough on the app a little bit later on, but suffice to say that that is how you set up this new. So we're just gonna go ahead and test drive this thing and then come back with our final opinions later. All right, so that is both the unboxing and the setup of the Snoo. Initial impressions of the device are that unboxing, you know, it's a big box, but it's obviously, it's pretty standard stuff. I do like that there's not a whole lot of plastic waste in it. It was pretty easy to put together, quite intuitive in that regard. The app is more or less like every other modern smart home device. Basically, you've got the app and it tries to connect via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to the device, kind of sets itself up. Most of that is pretty intuitive and it works okay. I did find the setup time to take like, like I had to fast forward in the actual clip that I showed you guys, but ultimately that part really did take a long time. Pro tip, don't wait until you have the baby to set this thing up. Um, obviously that was my bad, but, uh, but ultimately when you are super, super tired, stressed and kind of ready to get a little bit of sleep and have baby's first night be in this thing, uh, you, you probably want it already set up and, and ready to go. The app in general, and I'll probably, I might do like a little bit of a walkthrough in the app, but the app in general is overall intuitive. There's not a whole lot going on as far as the interface is concerned. When the baby starts to cry, it will send up a notification to the phone. And also if you open up the app, it'll say like, you know, Snoo is trying to soothe baby or, you know, ba baby is currently screaming and needs assistance, this kind of stuff. It, it's, it's pretty clever in that it can detect when the baby is crying and will then automatically shift mo modes into rocking her a little bit stronger or harder or faster, playing louder noise, this kind of thing. So from that standpoint, it's intuitive and it's designed well, but I find that it's more trouble to open up the app and interact with it instead of just uh, pressing the buttons on the actual Snoo itself. So the power button, or rather the, like the Snoo button that's kind of on the side of the Snoo, you, if you hit that basically once after you clip the baby in, it will automatically turn it into like normal mode where it's just kind of slowly rocks the baby to sleep. And then of course we'll amp up as necessary. So 
Do you need the app to make this thing functional? Uh, the answer is no, and in some ways I actually think that's a good thing because the last thing you wanna be doing at three in the morning when your baby is crying and you're needing to feed it or change its diaper is to also be futzing around with an app on the phone. So it is nice that you can do everything kind of on device, but nevertheless it does seem that the app could be a little bit more helpful in certain ways. There is a kind of cool section in the app where you can pull up like hints and tips that Happy Baby or Happiest Baby, the company that makes this new, that they, that they think is relevant to the timeline and age of your baby. I do think that that is pretty cool. Also part of what you're paying for when you're buying this new is more or less like an instant access hotline where you can call up their 1-800 number and talk to a person about what they think you should be doing to your baby and how you can get them to either sleep better, feed better, et cetera, and so forth. So that's kind of nice. You're not just buying the snoo, you're sort of buying a parenting manual, in, in, so to speak, but that really will lead me to my last point, which is, is the snoo worth $1,600? No, it is a very, very expensive device and we're not necessarily convinced that it is doing the best job in, in making your baby sleep more and or longer. I do think that it is helpful in some degree and when she is really getting fussy and there's no other options, it is nice to have the snoo kind of rock her back and forth to soothe her instead of you having to do that yourself. Again, it does, it does allot you a little bit more time. But there are some things to note about, about this new, namely that when it operates in the middle of the evening, obviously you're probably gonna have the bassinet in your bedroom for the first few months, sleeping with the baby obviously in the bassinet, and it is very noisy. You can also feel it kind of moving, you know, <laughs> back and forth like through the floors. So it's a little bit disruptive to your own sleep unless you of course like the white noise, but we didn't find that it was 100% effective in soothing her. It helped, but it wasn't $1,600 helpful. And I think that's kind of the problem with this thing is it's just too expensive for what you're getting. And by the way, the resale value on these things is amazing. So if you buy one for 1,600 bucks, by the way, you can also rent one, which is, which is ultimately I think a little bit cheaper. But if you buy one of these things, you'll probably be able to turn it around for close to what you paid, maybe, you know, maybe losing a couple hundred bucks off the top. They do give you everything that you really need, you know, in terms of the sacks and the, the mattress and the covers and all that stuff. So, I mean, they're, you know, it's, 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 a, it's helpful and they give you what they can, so to speak, but I don't know. I, um, <clears throat> there are competitors on the market. I'd be curious to see what the competing devices are like comparatively if, you know, our baby responds better to those. One example being the Fisher-Price Soothing Motions Bassinet. That thing is, I think, somewhere around like the $180 mark, somewhere around there. So, you know, ultimately it is a fraction of what this new costs and ultimately will do basically the same thing. So, you know, again, it's really hard to justify what you're paying for with the snoo other than clout, aesthetic, um, you know, maybe materials, but you know, it is made in China and you know, ultimately they're probably sourcing those same plastics and stuff there too. I do think this is gonna be a mileage varies situation. Some babies are really gonna like it. Other babies are gonna be absolutely, uh, they're not gonna give a crap about this new. But from a parenting standpoint, it made things a little bit easier, but we just didn't find the juice, the juice worth the squeeze. I think either a regular bassinet or maybe one of the cheaper competing options might be, might be the better way to go for like 95% of people. That is not to say the snoo isn't nice. It's just a little bit expensive for what you get. Anyway, uh, that is the snoo. We'd love to hear what your questions, comments, feedback is in the comment section. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us as well. Please like and subscribe to this channel, and we will be back with another video really soon.